Good morning, y'all. Y buenos días. So for today's video, I wanted to show you guys our zero waste bulk section of pantry and spices. And if you guys are interested to see just what we use on a daily basis, then keep on watching. So uh, I wanted to preference this video by saying that we are super privileged in the fact that we are not only financially able to buy all of these goods, but that we have a vehicle to go get all of these goods. Um, our bulk store is about an hour and a half away from where we live. The only grocery stores that we have here are super small mom and pop shops and then Walmart. And we try to avoid Walmart as much as we can and then we get all of our produce from the small mom and pop shops that they have here being that the farmer's market is now closed because it's cold. And so um, there's so many people out there that don't have access to bulk stores and don't have access to uh, the quality and quantity of fruits, veggies, and bulk stuff that we do. And so that does not mean that one is better than the other by any means whatsoever. This is just us doing the best that we can with what we have and, and how we can manage to do just a little bit better. We were super lucky, like I said, to have this bulk store that not only is drivable distance for us but that also uh has just so so many items that we use on a daily basis so yeah let me show you guys what's in our pantry all right so we'll start from our little bulk pantry section here um from the top okay so we have a lot of oatmeal we all three of us eat oatmeal every single day for breakfast, so we always have to have a lot. We have three containers here, and we actually have another container on the counter because we were just making oatmeal. So this is probably one of the things that we go through the fastest because not only do we eat oatmeal like for breakfast, but we also make oat milk, which um, I find is the easiest thing to make, and also it's a lot cheaper than making nut milk and so we just prefer it and we only really use milk for baking and so i don't really need like a giant container of milk i make about one per week and it lasts the whole week but we do need a lot of oatmeal all the time the next is granola we like blueberry flax granola and it's super super good they actually sell the same kind of granola in multiple different uh bulk stores it's not just luckies so this is by far our favorite. We haven't switched and we've just been eating it for so long now. It's our favorite and we have no intentions of switching to any other kind of granola. The next is sugar. So this is a pretty huge container of sugar just because uh, I like to make a lot of sweet treats for Zach. He has a huge sweet tooth. So uh, we go through one of these maybe in like two months or so we don't use it that that often and so it lasts us a pretty good while we don't have to fill that one in too often the next one and this is weird this one doesn't have a door so it's like kind of awkward to get the stuff so i put this in the middle because i don't use it as often but this is a uh, cornmeal uh we like to make cornbread when i make like rice and gravies and stuff like that or chilies and so this is a big old thing of cornmeal the next is flour, which I always have a ton, ton of because I make bread and all kinds of other stuff. And so this is just regular uh, unbleached flour. And the next is uh, baking soda. So a big old thing of baking soda as well. And then this section is like our nuts and seeds. And so this is a jelly container, but we have some peanuts in it, um, cashews, because I like putting this in sauces and stuff like to make cheeses and uh, Zach loves it with pretty much every single meal. Like he eats rice, beans, and kale, and cashews. Like that's his favorite meal ever. This, these little ones are sesame seeds for when we eat uh, like Asian style noodles. Uh, walnuts, we like eating the, these in uh, salads and banana bread. This is a trail mix that we have. And these are soybeans. The next section is one that we go through really fast and that's rice and beans. So this is just regular white rice. This is um, some wild rice and we don't use this as often just because I don't really like wild rice as much, like maybe like in a soup, but just eating it plain, I actually mix both white and brown rice and wild rice together so that I can actually eat it. And this is some quinoa. 
some red beans and some black beans. And I have this giant vat container of frijoles salvadoreños in the garage just because it's like such a big container. It's like inconvenient to have it anywhere else just because I never want to run out of those frijoles. And the next one is some chickpeas for making hummus and falafel and stuff like that. And then these little guys are some black eyed peas. Running low on those. And then these are like more sweet stuff. So this is a pasta jar that we have full of uh, raisins. This little container is our mango container. It's just really convenient because we always keep this in the car. Like as soon as we leave, we put this in the car because that's like the, our favorite in the car snack. This is uh, brown sugar, chia seeds that we we use the same chia container, but um, we fill it up at the bulk store. Some cinnamon sticks, um, some salt. These are chocolate chips. And this is uh, ground flax seeds. So that's everything in this section, all of our pantry goodies. So right here, right next to the stove, I have my olive oil that we fill up in bulk as well. And then our salt, just because I need it like right, right on hand. And then if you go up, this is where all of my spices are. So in this front row is what I use on a daily basis. And then in the back and then further up is stuff that I don't use as often, but I still, you know, use it. And so right here, I have my pepper. I have garlic powder, cayenne, turmeric, paprika, cumin, and onion powder. This is like my essentials. Like I can't cook a meal basically if I don't have these, which is why I have these in even bigger containers because garlic powder and cayenne, I just go through so fast and paprika and cu pretty much all of these. I use so, so often. So I, I just use them. I just put them right here so that they're much easier to grab. And then I'll kind of move these out of the way so y'all can see the back ones. So in the back, I have my less used stuff. And I have some bay leaves, basil, parsley, oregano, Italian seasoning, thyme, all-purpose seasoning, curry powder, and chili powder. And I do use these, as you can see, but I just don't use them as often. So I don't keep them up front because it's pretty much like only special things that I'm making maybe like once or twice a week. So I don't want them in the way. And then up here, I have my next level of stuff that I use like even less often. Um, so I have these, which are pretty cool. I don't know if you guys have ever tried these. They're the um, Edward and Sons seasoning packets and they taste really, really great. I love putting these in soups and stews and stuff like that. So I have the beef flavor and the chicken flavor and I always have these on hand just because they just make things taste really, really good. And so for my sweet stuff, I have vanilla and cinnamon, which I use for baking a lot. And I have some crushed rosemary and fennel seeds. And then behind that is, again, like I said, my less used stuff, which is, let's see, some um, liquid smoke, which is really, really great in uh, chilies and stuff like that. I have some sesame oil, which I'm running pretty low on, some balsamic vinegar, some vegan Worcestershire sauce, however you pronounce it, um, the Everything Bagel Seasoning Blend, which I really recommend this. Uh, Zach actually got it uh, in Trader Joe's in Baton Rouge, and we still we use it a lot, but it lasts forever. It's the best on avocado toast because it's a blend of all of the like really, really good stuff on a, on a bagel. And then some soy sauce, which we're actually just finishing this bottle up because we've been using coconut aminos instead, but I had to go on a run and they didn't have any coconut aminos in town. We can only get it in Springfield. And so I was feeling kind of hesitant about it, but I really, really wanted soy sauce flavoring. And so we opted out for that. We kind of water it down just because it's so, so much sodium, which is why we like the coconut aminos. I would highly recommend you guys to uh, try those out if you guys haven't yet. The coconut amino, which I mean, tastes pretty much exactly like soy sauce. And then some rice vinegar. And then up here, I have all of my powders, barley grass juice powder, uh, spirulina powder, and then like another green superfood powder and in here it's not peanuts it is some nutritional yeast and we usually get like a huge container because we go through nutritional yeast pretty quickly but as of right now we only have this smaller container of it 
And then we have some vegan eggs, which I mix with our tofu. But yeah, that's it. That's all of the things in my spice rack. Here are a couple of other things that we keep in um, the little top drawer up here too. And some of these are not zero waste. So I have some nori, which I really, really love uh, in miso soups and stuff like that. Or we just eat it as a snack. Luna eats these like people eat chips. It's so funny. Um, some coconut milk, our curries and soups and stuff like that. Peanut butter, which we also get um, filled up in bulk. Um, they, you run it through the little machine and like super fresh peanut butter comes out, which is really awesome. And then we always have some form of Asian noodles and then regular pasta noodles, uh, which I actually emailed the store that we go to Lucky's all the time uh, to see if we can get some bulk pasta. They responded and they said that uh, they would try to start working on it. So fingers crossed and I really hope that we can start getting pasta in bulk because that would be amazing. So that is it. Um, a couple of other things that I forgot to mention were our vegan protein and I'll add what kind of vegan protein we uh, use here and we put that in pretty much all of our smoothies and stuff like that. I would also love for you guys to comment what bulk items you guys use on a regular basis. Y'all already know that we eat arroz con frijoles and oatmeal every day so what are your go-to meals? I think that's it. That's everything that we have in our pantry and in our spice rack. As always if you guys have any comments or questions please leave them down below. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to y'all later.